How did I fall from the sky into your bathroom? Let's grab the toilet. A gift is an expression of emotion. Okay. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Uh -huh. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. You lost me entirely. Uh huh. Okay, sure. Let's grab the tub. Little Peggy. Oh my god. Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in a supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed, on a golf course, a kitchen. Oh, for some, it's the whole town. Oh my god. The fuck? From the day she died, this has been my place to work. Okay, can I just like open the door? Oh, I guess I could. I guess that makes sense. It's apparently no my results house. this time either. This case is in the clear. Say press and hold Y to use vision. I guess it's like hints or something. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. Weird. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. At the time, with no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead-end case. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do, Oh, Peggy. Amanda? Who? I'm not done yet. Did you hear about David's wife? Man, they were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. Amanda person, you're gonna wait. I'm drinking. There's only one thing I need after work. Tequila. Straight up. Nothing mixed in.
<sighs> the okay. perfect stimulation for my lead-filled brain. You always look so happy drinking that. I wish I could have a drink too. Does it really taste that good? Maybe I'll just try a little. Escape now. <gasps> this is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me. She is. I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though. Well, my memory holds no answers. <sighs> What was that? Yo, David, everything ship shake? <laughs> As you can see, Teddy. Someone definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> nah. Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Uh. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get, trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? Uh, like you wouldn't believe. Women, men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means, get right over here. But then, leave me alone. Just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. Once in a while? All the time is more like it. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Yeah, when it's on TV right now? No, I haven't heard. Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by That's unexplained cheap. lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. Real deal of what? I've got the good stuff for you this time. Okay. Well, that was... odd. Yet, but okay. Nor have I met that guy. Or that guy. Or that guy. 
So far, I've enjoyed this. It's interesting, and I had a rat in my mouth that came out of Amanda's mouth. I don't know why it was in Amanda's mouth. I don't really know who Amanda is or why she's passenger a simply outfit. vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Huh, Does that sound possible to you? Yes. Antonio Zapatero. Otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. What does that mean? Does he literally carry This one blood? promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. <gasps> this courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Almost anything is possible. That's why he brought this to me in the first place, isn't it? Glad we're on the same page. The courier had the evidence with him. Uh -huh. I tell you, there's got to be a third party involved somewhere. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Does a man did not talk? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Cool. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. Oh, credit. Uh, oh, I can't grab. Okay. A piece of evidence relating to the case of the vanishing courier. It belonged to the Federal Marshal Derek. Uh. Uh. Buck. Buckana. But Buckana. Uh, fuck. Who cares? Who was killed while transporting the courier in question? Using this should allow me to dive into the airplane aboard, which is D, the key to my wife's murder case. Okay. Oh my god, just how do I close? God damn it. There we go. New character often unlocked. How do I switch character outfits? 